Hello everybody, this is John from USA Mondon. Welcome back and thanks for watching. If it's your first time on my channel, as always, welcome. Today I have another video for you guys. Today's video is what happened to your I-130 petition if you fail to apply for your immigrant visa. If it's something you want to know, just stay tuned and I'll be right back. USA Mondon. When somebody uh, petition for you, or let's say your spouse uh, petition for you, or you petition for your children, you know that at one point the case will move to NVC National Visa Center after being approved at USCIS. And then from there, you will receive a letter from NVC that will tell you exactly what to do to apply for uh, the immigrant uh, visa. But sometimes uh, things happen, you know, or uh, maybe sometimes it's, it's um, by neglect or by ignorance, and you know, people don't know exactly what to do. They don't even follow the the right instruction or in the letter and when you don't take steps uh, there is a chance your r130 petition be terminated and that's what today's video is about okay so when you receive a letter from nvc the first thing you're going to do is start the process right away because when you get to that point when you get that far meaning that you you have a more chance to get your immigrant visa because most of the time people people's um i want to petition is not even approved so if you have a change your i want to is approved and move to nvc and nvc are uh, asking you to start your immigrant uh, visa process meaning that there is a visa available for you you have to take the steps right away you have to start working on that immigrant visa right away you know like i say you know sometimes people by neglect they don't take the steps and then they find out maybe a year or two years later that they are on uh, I want the petition was approved and they don't know what to do. I have people send me a letter the other day the I want the petition was approved like since 1999 or something like that. And then I was like, how come they don't know? You know, things happen. But the thing is, if you receive such a letter, you don't react to it, you don't uh, respond to NVC National Visa Center, within one year, your I want to petition, your case will be terminated. Meaning that, you know, the NVC will terminate your registration. You can no longer apply for an immigrant visa, okay? So you have to have that in mind that your case can be terminated. It's not like uh, the case will be there, to, you know, and so 10 years, 20 years on when you decide to apply for your immigrant visa and then NVC will start the process on, 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 on again. No, it doesn't work like that. NVC will terminate your case if you don't reply to them within one year, okay? But there is exception to that. Sometimes, you know, NVC can reinstate your case and you know, reopen your case if you can prove that within two years uh, the day, uh, from the day you receive that letter that uh, whatever happened um, and you were unable to apply for an immigrant visa is out of your control. If you can prove that whatever happened is out of your control, then NVC will work with you, will reopen your case and so you can start the immigrant visa process. So having in mind, if you are somebody somewhere right now who just received an NVC National Visa Center letter to start your immigrant uh, visa process, start it right now. Don't wait. Don't wait to one year because, you know, you know, after one year from the day you receive that letter, NVC will terminate your case and you will be no longer able to apply for your immigrant visa. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys love it, learn something from it. If you know somebody who needs to watch this video, please share with that person. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this one, all you got to do is subscribe. Once again, my name is John. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. USA Monday.